Hey there everyone, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 511 Tactical Mike Messenger Bag. This is the smallest of the three messenger bags that 511 makes. Very high quality and uh, for myself has really proved to be a, a great bag to take to work, to go around town, you know, go to the office, go to Starbucks, carry a lot of my books and a lot of other things, tablets, you could carry small um, uh, laptops, you know, just carry a lot of stuff and give you a lot of carry options and uh, at a pretty reasonable price. And it's not, you know, one of those huge, massive messenger bags that, you know, is you know, half the size of your torso. This is, a, a, I think, a really good size. So let's go ahead. I'll give you some of the basic specs and dimensions and we'll begin to open this Mike messenger bag from 511 Tactical and see if this little pack is worth a purchase for you. All right, just want to give you guys a couple basic specs here on the messenger bag before we start opening it up. It's made out of 1,050 denier nylon construction, YKK zippers, uh, Duraflex hardware, luggage handle attachments, flag and morale patches on, and Velcro we'll look at. Uh, the overall dimensions here are 14 inches. And this is not including the water bottle extensions. 14 inches from side to side. And it is nine and a half inches from top to bottom, and then it's three and a half inches deep, but it can definitely expand a little bit more than that. But those are the basic specs for you here on the Mike Messenger bag. Let's go ahead and start looking at it. All right, so let's take a look at the front flap here on the pack. What you have is four, st excuse me, three stages of Molly that is also Velcro. So you can Molly little, you know, pockets and different types of organizers and mag clips or whatever you would like. You can Molly through there, but you can also put tons of morale patches along there. So I really like that. That's a really nice feature that they kind of integrate both Velcro and Molly. So you can kind of decide what you want to do. That goes the entire length of the full front of the flap. Then you have two pockets right here. YKK zippers. They zip to the side. Real nice, deep. They go the full depth of the flap, so you can see there. Really nice, deep. One pocket. You know, I have a Leatherman. I got some other stuff. I got my earbuds. You know, stuff that you want to get accessible to. My uh, little stylus pen right there for my iPad. So, uh, really nice, quick, easy stuff. You know, I got some medication. Got some hand sanitizer. Got some spray deodorant, some gum. You know, you could put uh, work pad, uh, excuse me, um, ID you know, things in here, other stuff, wallet, whatever that you want really quick accessibility to. Really nice deep pockets that you can put a lot of different stuff in on the front flap of the pack. So on top you got a really nice box weaved handle. You can lift it up, it is attached to the flap itself, but uh, this is just Velcro, it's not even attached um, with the clips, and I'm easily able to carry it around, you know, just move it from your car to your house, you know, that type of stuff, box weaved. Got a couple little loops, you could throw carabiners, you know, different things through. So that's real nice, strong, very nice handle on the top of the pack. Okay, so on the back of the pack, you got a couple interesting features. You got a belly strap, which I've weaved around, and I'll show the belly strap on here in just a second. But uh, I've weaved it around this really wide strap with a little a feed of Velcro in there that's designed to go over your suitcase handle, you know, like a rolling suitcase, and Velcro on it so it'll rest on top, you know, and kind of feed your the handle that you're pulling your suitcase along through, and then it Velcro's tight, so if someone were to try and rip, rip it off your um, suitcase real quick, the Velcro would keep it and catch it, and then you could deal with the situation so that someone wouldn't just snag it and run off um, with your uh, pack. So that's real nice. Then you have both YKK zippers. They zip either way. They open up either way into a really nice deep pocket back here with Velcro on one side right here. So this is kind of the CCW compartment. That's more what it's designed for. Uh, and you could easily get a full-size um, Glock, you could get uh, definitely your CCW pistols. You know, probably a 1911 is going to be kind of ridiculous in there. It would probably fit, but just barely. Uh, but, you know, your average size 4-inch Glock, um, as well as any CCW, like a, my Smith & Wesson MNP Shield fits in there perfect. And uh, you could definitely carry your CCW up against your person, and that's what's nice, too. You know, it's not in the front. It's in the back, up against your body. And then the zippers open either way, so, you, you know, you're not trying to remember which way you got to open it. You grab it, you open it, boom, you're ready to grab grab your CCW. Okay, so let's look underneath. You have two drainage holes, as you can see, as well as a little bit of space here with the two straps. So you can roll up, you know, um, a raincoat. You could do an umbrella or something like that and feed those through on either side if you so desired. Then you got your two clips here, really nice, strong, durable plastic. You click those open and then 
We have two long runs of Velcro on either side. I usually do not even use these two clips unless I'm really, you know, having a run or maybe, you know, if I was on a bike or something, I would use them. Usually these Velcro strips are really nice and strong. I'll just flap it over. Velcro is nice and snug, and then I just pull it up if I need to get into something. So then you have a lot of organization right here. You got a little pocket for, you know, like business cards and that, that type of thing. Then you got slits for two pens. Then you have another slit that has no bottom. These two don't have a bottom either, so, you know, if you're not using a particular type of length of pen, it'll f fall out the bottom. Uh, and same with these, you know, I can get my finger up in there and push those. So, you know, nice pens there. Then you have a little Velcro pocket right here. Lots of lots of organizational pockets. Boom, right in there. You know, I got some iTunes gift cards I've yet to spend. So uh, that fits right in there, you know, so you can put ID cards again. Then you just got a little you know, uh, sleeve with no Velcro, you, know, you can just kind of put a little book or something like that. Then you got a nice little toggle right here for keys. Then you have these two little sleeves right here on either side that go all the way down. You, know, you could put a pocket knife, you could put like a little tiny fixed blade, like an SE, um, Azula, you know, or something like that in there. A flashlight very easily would fit on either one of these sleeves. They're, they do not come out the bottom, so they are a full pocket on either side there. Uh, you could put, you know, gun mags in there very easily, things like that. Then, finally, you have this hidden pocket right here that zips. Um, you probably didn't even see that. This is a zipper, and then you have a full document pocket in there, you know, so you can put kind of sensitive stuff. You can put, like, your paycheck stubs, you know, after work, things like that in there, and that is a full-size, full sleeve, goes all the way down, so it's the entire dimensions of the pack is that hidden pocket, you know, hidden documents that you don't really want anybody messing with that they w did happen to, you know, get inside your bag. It would take them a little while to find it, um, you know, if you left it at your desk for a moment or two. Uh, sensitive stuff you could easily throw into that hidden compartment. All right, so I just want to show you the pack on me. You can see here, really nice, strong, heavy-duty strap got really comfortable padding right here then here is the waist strap it goes right around my waist in the way that I'm carrying it right here Let's see now I wear size 34 waist and I have just a little bit uh, so you probably maybe like a four, size 40 waist other than that the belly strap or waist strap is gonna become too small and you'd have to extend it you can remove it and feed it out if you don't want that I usually don't wear it um, I usually, you know, just kind of stuff it off to the side, but here is the pack on me just so you can kind of see some dimensions here. Again, really nice, and then there's that quick release. I can push it, take it off, snap it back on. Just really well designed and really the perfect size for me and what I do, and probably for the most of you, this is going to probably be the ideal size for going to the office around town. But, you know, as a book bag, iPad bag, uh, this is probably going to be the best size, the mic size for you from 5'11". Okay, so once you open that main flap, you got a lot of organization in here as well. You got some back sleeves back in here that will hold really nice big books. These are some of my study books. Got my Bible. Fits in there. Here's a full sheet of paper so you can see, you know, that can easily fit inside there with a little room to spare on the mic pack. This is, again, the smallest one of the three that they make. So that's a nice little sleeve there. Then behind that, you can see the little flip uh, attachment right here. This has Velcro on it. So on the front of this main flap right here is a whole nother wall of Vel Velcro. So you could put little organizational pouches that have Velcro right here. You could put your CCW in there if you wanted to with a holster as well. So this flips over. So you could put laptops or different things inside this back area. It's got a little bit of padding on the back in between the um, back of the bag and the actual pocket. So that's kind of designed more. I put my big books like my Bible and stuff in there, but you know, that's for a laptop, uh, you know, or your iPad or different things like that. I'll usually stick my iPad sometimes in there. Then you have another big pocket right here. The, again, you can fit all sorts of organizational stuff. Then right here on the front wall, if I can show you guys, you got two zipper pockets. Again, just lots and lots of pockets in here, guys, um, with mesh. I'm trying to show you right in here. Um, and that goes on either side, so you can put all sorts of little knickknacks and things that you would want to put in there. Then you have two more sleeves. This is my little organizer, you know, with my Bluetooth and jump drives and things like that. That's on either side. Then you got another Velcro with another pocket up front right here. So, I mean, just tons of sleeves, basically, so you can get all sorts of gear and really make this really packed out and, you know, fat if you wanted it to. And it will definitely carry a lot of stuff for you. Then on the inside of the flap, there is nothing. Just want to show that to you. There's the Velcro strips. 
and there's the little toggles and nothing else. Okay guys, so I do have one beef with this bag, is that it does have water bottle pockets or organizing pockets on either side of the pack, but you can really only get kind of the more narrow, either aluminum or steel bottles, you know, or uh, kind of the 16 ounce Camelback or Nalgene bottles. A full size 32 ounce Nalgene bottle will not fit inside this pocket. The pocket does have if we can kind of show it to you here in the light, does have more of that uh, molly that is also Velcro, and then it does have some mesh on the back and then the adjustment strap, but you can see the adjustment strap is, the adjustment strap is uh, all the way extended, you know, so again, this is the only type of bottle, nice and thin, you know, uh, the thinner one's not the 32, again, the diameter is just too big, 32 ounce Nalgene. Now this is like a 27 ounce or so, you know, it does the job, but I would have liked to have that. Be, have uh, be an option that I could carry now jeans uh, then on the other side you know I just have my maximum edition organizer in there you know you could put other stuff or carry another water bottle if you so desired because uh, I absolutely have to have a water bottle with me you know day in day out I, I live a mile high up you know above sea level you got sun constantly and you know you just need that that water so uh, that is one of my beefs it does have water bottle holders but it will not hold 32 ounce now jeans all right everyone so you've seen the Mike messenger bag in action and the ins and outs of this particular bag uh, I was really impressed when I got it and really happy with it uh, I really like the different uh, options that it has the carry options all the different pockets and organization and right now I have zero plans to update it I'm looking around you know at all the other different companies that produce messenger bags and I'm not really seeing anything that's per my interest right now in the middle of 2014 I'm sure uh, in a couple years this may be updated and you know maybe I'll get my hands on a different design that I like a little more but right now I mean there's a, nothing that I can really complain about aside from the water pouches not being able to carry full size now jeans is really the only hang up that I have and it's a very small hang up because uh, you know you can just find different size water bottles and fix that problem real quick so the 511 tactical mic messenger bag in my mind is a perfect size and a perfect fit for a lot of us out they're looking to carry stuff without having a huge bag on us. I hope this review has helped you guys out. Thanks so much for watching. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical. Please subscribe, comment, like the videos, share the videos, and check out our Facebook page. You can find it on the YouTube homepage of Gideon's Tactical. Like our Facebook page where you'll get updates of upcoming videos. Uh, you'll get photos as well as upcoming gear, new gear releases, you know, that products and companies that uh, are released, as well as behind the scenes footage and bloopers that you'll never see make it to YouTube. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.